Imagine a league with Avery Bradley's son as the owner. That's what we're going to do today when I take over the job of Adam Silver as the league owner. This tall, skinny white guy with no hair on the top of his head will be replaced by the 13-year-old with no life. Let's get right into it. The first issue I'm going to be tackling today is NBA teams relocating or just an NBA expansion in general. And I think we all know one of the teams that will be listed. Yeah, the Seattle Supersonics are getting a team back. I don't care what anybody says. The Seattle Supersonics fan base is loyal and will support their teams through thick and thin. They lost their team in a iffy manner, and I think they definitely supported any team that came, but they obviously need one back, and everyone thinks this. The next city, though, maybe not as many have thought of. If you don't know what team this is, this was the Kansas City Kings. They were around in the 50s and 60s, and they were home to Oscar Robertson for a while. They ended up losing their team, and now they play in Sacramento for the Sacramento Kings. I do think Kansas City or St. Louis needs a team because the Midwest lacks a deep fan base, which is something I've noticed. I used to live there, and the passion for basketball in the state like South Dakota where I used to live just lacks because there's no team nearby to support. And I think adding a team to Kansas City or St. Louis would really help this cause and expand the NBA's audience to even farther length than it already is. Next issue to tackle is the draft lottery. The draft lottery may or may not be rigged. I don't think it is. I just think people change the stories a lot judging on whatever happens. I hate these odds so much. So, so much. And this even benefits me because I'm a Boston fan. But these odds are absolute trash. I know they're changing them next year so the top three seeds all have the same odds. But I don't like that idea. I don't think it affects tanking at all. What I think needs to happen is if you don't make the playoffs, by one game, you have the same odds as the team that won five games. Because then every team can shoot for the playoffs. Either you get an eight seed, or you have a chance at the one seed. And no one can tank, but anyone can get a lot better in this draft. And a big topic that I think most people knew would be addressed is the best earn and least earn conference. Can we just get rid of these by now? Honestly, I understand that you don't want players traveling, but I just think it's getting absurd with how be much better the Western Conference is than the East. The East has up and coming stars in Giannis Antetokounmpo and Joel Embiid, but the West has just as many with Carl Anthony Towns, Devin Booker, Nikola Jokic. Damian Lillard's not even that old yet. I just don't see this changing at all, especially with teams like the Spurs, who are just great forever, and the Golden State Warriors, who they could legitimately be contenders for five more years. I think if you're Boston, for example, you move to the West Coast and you just play in the West for about two weeks, play all your games there, and then you go back home, you play there for two weeks, then you go and you play Oklahoma City, Utah, Minnesota for two weeks, then you go back home and you play Philadelphia, Toronto, you play them for two weeks, and you keep alternating this so there's not too much traveling going on. I think this would greatly improve the NBA. If I was a tall, skinny, bald, that's not Adam Silver. There he is. If I was a tall, skinny, bald, 
white guy, these are the changes I would make to the NBA.